Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome SARS, is a viral respiratory disease caused by a coronavirus, known as SARS-CoV. It first emerged in November 2002 in Guangdong Province, China. The primary reason for the emergence of SARS is believed to be animal-to-human transmission, likely from civet cats to humans at wet markets, where live animals were sold and slaughtered. This zoonotic origin highlights the risks of close contact between humans and wildlife, where viruses can jump species barriers. The rapid spread of SARS was facilitated by several factors. Firstly, globalization and international travel played a crucial role, as infected individuals traveled, spreading the virus across continents. Airports and other crowded facilities helped in the dissemination of the virus. Secondly, the nature of the virus itself, which spread primarily through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughed or sneezed, contributed to its transmission among closely packed populations. Hospitals also became hotspots for SARS transmission due to the presence of many vulnerable patients and the initially inadequate infection control practices. Many healthcare workers and patients became infected, further spreading the virus within communities. The global impact of SARS was significant, with over 8,000 reported cases and nearly 800 deaths. The outbreak underscored the need for rapid and effective public health responses, including better surveillance, quarantine measures, and international cooperation, to manage emerging infectious diseases. The SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, outbreak of 2003 was a significant global health crisis that affected over 8,000 individuals across more than 30 countries and resulted in approximately 774 deaths. The outbreak, which originated in Guangdong Province, China, quickly spread internationally, largely facilitated by global travel. The case fatality rate was about 10 percent, underscoring the severity of the disease. The impact extended beyond health concerns, causing substantial economic and social disruptions, including the temporary closure of schools, cancellations of major events, and notable losses in tourism and travel industries, particularly in China, Hong Kong, and Canada. Efforts to prevent the spread of SARS centered around several crucial strategies. Quarantine and isolation measures were stringently applied to those infected or suspected of having SARS, effectively separating them from the general population. Travel restrictions played a vital role, with enhanced screening processes at airports and borders, and some regions issued travel advisories to and from highly affected areas. Public health measures, including campaigns promoting hand hygiene, mask wearing, and respiratory etiquette, were rapidly deployed to curb the spread of the virus. Improved infection control practices in hospitals, such as the widespread use of personal protective equipment, were critical in protecting healthcare workers and other patients from the virus. Additionally, there was a significant boost in international cooperation, facilitated by the World Health Organization WHO, which helped in the sharing of vital information about the virus and strategies to control its spread. The global response to SARS was instrumental in containing the outbreak by July 2003 and set precedents for handling subsequent infectious disease outbreaks, highlighting the importance of swift and coordinated action in managing public health emergencies. The SARS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, outbreak of 2003 is considered effectively contained, with no new cases reported since 2004. This containment was achieved through rigorous public health interventions and international cooperation, leading the World Health Organization to declare the global outbreak contained as of July 5, 2003. Preventing a potential re-emergence of SARS or similar outbreaks involves a multifaceted approach. Continuous surveillance and monitoring are critical for the early detection of potential SARS-like infections. This includes keeping an eye on both human cases and potential animal sources, given that coronaviruses often originate in animals. Although specific vaccine development for SARS was paused after the disease was contained, ongoing research into coronaviruses, especially spurred by the COVID-19 pandemic, remains crucial. This research aids in understanding the virus better and developing strategies to combat similar threats. The importance of robust public health infrastructure cannot be overstated. It ensures that healthcare facilities are well equipped, healthcare workers are well trained, and systems are in place for rapid response capabilities such as testing, contact tracing, and isolation procedures. 
International cooperation also plays a vital role, as global health regulations and collaborative efforts between countries help manage the spread of infectious diseases and prevent regional outbreaks from escalating into global crises. Moreover, personal hygiene and public awareness are foundational in preventing the spread of respiratory diseases. Educating the public about the importance of hand hygiene, respiratory etiquette, and other preventive practices is crucial. Through awareness campaigns and public health advisories, communities can significantly contribute to the prevention of outbreaks. By maintaining vigilance, leveraging both national and international resources, and continuing research into the biology and transmission of coronaviruses, the global community can effectively manage and potentially prevent outbreaks similar to the 2003 SARS crisis.